Hey, how's it going everybody? Burn Brian here. It's been about a week since I put out a video, so I wanted to give you guys a real quick update just to let you know uh, what's been going on, why I haven't been around. Real quick, let me uh, take a swig of this here. Really nice tasting beer, nice 7%. Good buzz. It's been a really rough week, so I deserve a, a couple of these good beers. So, um, like I say, it's been incredibly tough. I've been on a journey to lose weight. Um, been doing really good as far as uh, all that goes. I actually biked a little, about 200 miles over the last two and a half, three weeks on a bicycle. It's been a whole lot of fun other than the last couple of days. It's amazing. I'm really starting to realize how many stupid drivers there really are out on the roads. I mean, just people that just don't pay any attention to the traffic laws and they don't even notice you in the lane if you're in the bike lane. They don't notice you when you're on the sidewalk. They just make turns without looking. Um, you know, it's crazy. It's like everybody's literally trying to kill you when you're on a bicycle, especially with texting now. It's like nobody's paying attention. Uh, and that resulted in an accident. Not only do you have like bad traffic, you know, bad drivers and cars, you've also got idiots on bikes that don't seem to understand that you're supposed to ride with the flow of traffic. That's why there's an arrow on the bike lane that says you go this way. And so I'll be riding along. It's like the other day I ended up having a little bit of a wreck because as I'm riding along in the bike lane like I'm supposed to be, somebody's coming head on in the bike lane and they didn't have any way to get out. I had to try to jump off the road real, real quick uh, to you know, try to get up uh, where the sidewalk would be. There was no sidewalk. So I hit this little trail where there was a root in the ground, hit the root, ended up busting. Thankfully didn't hurt the bike or anything. Ended up uh, you know, just messing up my arm and my, uh, my stomach a little bit. And then uh, a couple days ago on the way to work, I was just hauling ass like I normally do down the road and somebody flew past the stop sign and blocked the sidewalk. So I tried to weave around them real quick and come back in and um, I was using my roommate's bike and his, you know, he's got those road tires which are a little thinner than my cyclocross tire. So trying to jump that sidewalk back up, just even this much of a gap was too much. And when the tire hit, I lost control. Ended up with a really bad sprained ankle, probably one of the you know, worst ones that I've had. And I've had quite a few uh, over the years doing sports and different things uh, and getting too wasted and you know, falling off a curb. But, um, but yeah, both sides are swollen. There's a nice bruise and stuff. So I've been limping around and taking it easy the last couple days. Um, but uh, I wanted to get on here and, and you know, wish all of you guys a very happy 4th of July. I hope uh, you enjoy celebrating the Independence Day however you can. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, let me take a sip because I'm, I'm going to get a little, I guess, personal with you guys and tell you some of my thoughts here. You know, it's been bothering me and um, it's like it's, it's really hard for me to enjoy and celebrate this 4th of July just because it's there's so much going on in our country today and it makes me ashamed to be an American because of all the things I see you've got people that hate living in this country that that uh, you know sit around and throw terms around to, to mostly liberals they'll say this to conservatives and say oh you get all your information from Fox News F-A-U-X I hate that and I really hate when they use the term America as if to describe we're all a bunch of dumb redneck hillbillies and it really it pisses me off when I see you know, people that live in this country that should be proud and respect this country and the men and women that fought to give us this freedom that we have, you know, unfortunately that freedom allows idiots to have a voice as well. And it seems like the majority are starting to use their voice or, or I don't know if it's the majority. I feel like it's the minority that, that um, you know, the media takes hold and they, they twist these stories in order to create a further divide. We're getting closer to the election. They don't want a population united they want all of us to be fighting over stupid issues and you know it's happened so many times in the past with CISPA and you know some of the uh, internet spying and all of these different programs that they've managed to just slip in while all of us are focused on some stupid you know issue whether it's the Kardashians or it's whatever it's it's the whole smoke and mirrors look over here there's nothing to see here you know and it happened again with this fast track TPP thing that's been going on everybody's changing their profile pictures to rainbows and you know, everyone's going on about the Confederate flag and, you know, all the focus, meanwhile, is taken off of what's going on with this TPP and how horrible it is. And, um, you know, it, it's just, it bothers me. It makes me so mad to see all this, you know, I mean, of course, I'm proud and I'm happy that, that uh, gay marriage has passed, that, that, that there is marriage equality. Although, I don't think that anybody should get benefits. And to me, that's the whole 
argument that these people are going for when they wanted the equal rights and equal marriage is it's not really so much of you know being able to marry each other which you could have with a union it's about getting the tax breaks and the benefits and i think the state should never be involved in personal issues especially marriage and stuff i mean nobody should be getting uh, to me tax breaks because you're married that's stupid um you know and so uh, you know the whole thing bothers me it's like everybody uh, I don't know, man. I, I, it's killing me. The, the whole taking down the Confederate flag thing was awesome. I mean, I, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm like, fine, I understand. There are certain places, like in Georgia, I think the flag should stay up and it's protected uh, as a monument and should be up. Um, you know, but, I mean, come on. It's getting ridiculous. You've got this governor or mayor, I don't know if it's governor or mayor, that's talking about, uh, you know, digging up a, a Confederate general's body and his wife and moving them out. I mean come on monuments being taken down i said okay i'm fine with the flag i'm cool with that but when you start trying to erase history are we going to go now to ulysses s grant are we going to tear down his uh, monument in dc as well because if if we're taking down all these confederate monuments then we need to be taking down all of the union monuments as well i mean you know i live in florida so i've got a lot of great southern pride my ancestors fought in this country we came from england uh, separated from the country when the king's taxes became too much and it seems that our king uh, the the high price taxes that we have now just doesn't seem to bother anybody enough to stand up even though we really should be um, but I mean you know my ancestors came here and and you know was here for the starting of the colonies and they fought in the southern states to you know protect sovereignty from the from the Union and, and protect state rights it's just it's it's really a mockery and I was hoping that it would avoid the the, the town that I live in I live in Gainesville Florida and um, you know it was like the last straw I, I looked and saw the Dukes of Hazard is being taken down I'm like you got to be kidding me Dukes of Hazard I just watched the first episode today with my brother man you know what a great show I mean it it I, I just don't understand how they could take that down just because it has the stupid flag on, on the car on the General Lee I mean come on man um, you know, and so it's happening here in my town of Gainesville, these uh, group of well-intentioned, I guess, uh, ultra-educated folks are, are trying to move this memorial that's been there for 111 years in the center of town because they find it offensive and they think it's a symbol of racism and white supremacy. And this is a statue that honors the fallen who protected their lands. These are farmers. These are normal people. They're... There, you know, you could call them traitors if you want, but these were Americans, just like the North. It was a civil war. We were all Americans, and I think they deserve just as much as re respect as any other Union soldier or anything. I mean, the history doesn't need to be erased, and it's it's a shame that I see this happening. So I've tried to start a little movement. I'm hopefully going to try to gather a group of people to go out there and then uh, protect the statue and try to you know argue for its rights to be there. Because um, I, I just think it's getting out of hand. It's getting ridiculous. When's enough going to be enough? You know, when are we going to say, okay, you guys have completely lost your mind and we're not going to take this anymore? One of my favorite lines would be, uh, was it a Henry Beale, I guess, from uh, Network, an old 1970s movie. And, uh, you know, he said, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. When are we going to have that mentality again? I mean, I'm, I'm mad as hell at seeing what's going on in this country. And that's, that's why it's hard for me to really celebrate the 4th of July and our independence. Because independence from what? Right now it seems like we're slowly slipping into some sort of new world order with this TPP thing. And ah, it's a scary place, you know. Things have just been kind of on a, a you know, getting wackier and wackier. Now because of the, the church shooting of some little doofus, some little dumbass, idiot, inbred looking kid from South Carolina. Now all of a sudden the race beaters come back out and, you know... And this administration setting back our race relations, I mean, decades with this, it's, it's a shame. And, and most people are too uneducated enough to really understand this. And uh, it's, it's, it kills me. Anyway, that's my rant. I had to kind of get all this out there. That's been bumming me. The bike rides. I had to ride to work in the rain on the bike because my car's kind of screwed up. But I'll do what I got to do to survive. I'm a man. And, uh, you know, a man does what he's got to do. I'll ride my bike 15 miles a day in 105 degree weather. <coughs> that's dedication that's devotion it's pride anyway to all of you guys for uh sticking around i'm gonna have a normal video coming up i just kind of want to relax enjoy this this weekend a little bit uh try to let my ankle heal up a little bit more finish getting my mind right get some things in order around the house and uh hopefully come back at the start of next week after taking some time off and and uh, put out some new hot sauce videos. First thing I'm going to do is put out this hot sauce review that I've been slacking on. 
And uh, I've got a couple of those. Hopefully we're gonna have some fresh peppers coming around sometime soon. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, but I wanted to give you all a quick update anyway and let you know what's going on. And again, I appreciate all your support following along. Um, you know, I've just been down in the way, uh, you know, not feeling very good lately. And so I kind of had to take a little time off from putting anything out. And, uh, but I'm gonna try to get back into it this week. Uh, anyway, cheers this is to all of you again. Hope you all have a very, very fantastic 4th of July weekend. Uh, and don't let my rant ruin your holiday. I just can't. I just can't be too proud and, and too happy during this this holiday. Anyway, cheers. So yeah, and um, oh, and just to clarify too, when I when I talk about liberals. Um, or conservatives. I am really, I don't consider myself either, to be honest. I sort of see myself as being more fiscally conservative and liberal when it comes to a lot of social issues. So I guess I'm more of a libertarian in a sense, uh, in the belief, you know, in the sense that I believe in small governments. I don't like giant governments. I, I, um, you know, I think it's gotten way out of hand. The, the number of people we have our hands in the cookie jar these days, um, you know, I, I'm not a fan of, of the government telling anything to do. I think the state should have a lot more power than they do. Um, I'm not a fan of the Supreme Court being able to just overreach their powers. There's a lot of things, like I said, I, I guess I consider myself more of a, a libertarian in a sense. I, I'm kind of in the middle of the spectrum. I think we waste way too much money on, on uh, entitlement programs and various things like that. Um, and at the same time, I think we're, we're just living in the stone age when it comes to a lot of things like marijuana legalization i think the war on drugs needs to end um you know again i'm happy with uh, the gay marriage and the equal rights i just don't like the fact that the supreme court did what they did which kind of sort of defeats the purpose of you know going against what the people are saying what the people want uh, in those states but anyway hey that's just my opinion if you don't like it you know sorry but we're all entitled to an opinion and i'm kind of tired of just biting my tongue and not really you know expressing my point of view on things so uh, anyway, I hope you appreciate the honesty here and, and uh, no hate, whatever. Uh, it's just telling it how it is. But again, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. There's going to be some cool videos coming up here soon. And uh, once again, please enjoy and have a great 4th of July. Be safe and uh, have fun. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.